just want to share with you one more thing. And this is for real. A lot of times we have those infinite moments. But you know what the saddest thing in the world is? We are still living in a fire where there's day, there's night, I have to make a living, I have to wake up, I have to brush my teeth, I have to go to business. And you know what the saddest thing is? I don't incorporate those infinite moments into my finite life. You know, a lot of people stand by the holy wall and cry their eyes out. And at that moment, the mom is infinitely Jewish, right? They're infinitely holy. But when they come back, they go right back to the doggy diner and, and, and they go back to a Chinese restaurant. What's their problem? And you know what it is? Their Shem Kim and the Shem Yud Kevovke don't work together. They're, because we are finite, God created a finite world. The secret of life is that finite and infinite, you see what God wants of us, more than infinite. God bless you. God wants something even deeper. And here I want to share with you, for those who know, the Mashiach is coming, the Shem, God's name, which will be in the world, be Eke, Asher Eke. I will be what I will be. You know what it means? It's not finite, it's not infinite. It's deeper than all this. It's deeper than that. And um, I want to bless you and me and all of us when we are learning. We have to learn one page, right? I want this page to be infinite. But I want this page to be one page. I want to hold it in my hand, right? I cannot touch something infinite with my hands. Like Mashiach's hands, it's finite, it's one page. But it has everything there is. You know, when you get a love letter from somebody you love, isn't it a finite letter, a one letter, so many words? It's infinite. Well, is that infinite? It's more than infinite. It's everything. And, um, You see, it's crazy, the world is so broken. The world has vessel for, for this unbelievable thing which is happening. And if all the doctors and all the psychiatrists, instead of fixing those little particulars, would have enough sense, maybe someday they will, to fix the all, really to fix, right? To give them the strength to reach beyond themselves deeper, more. I just want to finish this by saying this month is Osher. But Osher says, Boruch me bonim Osher. Osher is the master of children. Because children, children want to reach beyond themselves. But you know something? I'm sure you feel the same way. If you don't tell your children that they are the most, most beautiful in the world, don't talk to them. But then you'll tell me, listen to me, how can, so you're subjective, it's your child, you say, the most beautiful thing in the world. And what's about your neighbor's child? Ah, on a finite level, it's a contradiction, right? But I'm infinite. Your child is the most beautiful thing in the world. My child is the most beautiful thing in the world. Yankel is the most beautiful thing in the world. Hanel is the most beautiful thing in the world. If I'm infinite? You know, for God, every human being is the most beautiful thing in the world, right? See, God measures. You know, I have lately, I have met people whose parents never told them that they're beautiful. And then they sit there and they're, they're, and, they're, and, and they're broken, right? All they need is one good word. There was one lady, you know, she's mama, she's bitter and angry. And one day, she's a phone operator. So I asked her, you know, what hurts you? She says, when I ever did something wrong, my mother would 
make me, you know, swallow soap, water with soap, and lock me in a closet. Okay, so this woman happens, happens to be very beautiful. She was married six times, never, can't, can't talk to her children. Broken, right? Broken. I asked her, did your mother ever tell you once in her life that you're beautiful? Now, but she started laughing, such a bitter laugh. I don't want to tell you what she said to me, what I am, right? So I just want to pray really for all the children of the world that they should meet somebody who tells them every day that they're the most, most beautiful thing in the world. And maybe someday we'll also know that all of us, every one of us is the best in the whole world.